Hey guys welcome back. In previous video we have seen how to turn on ESP8266 in access point mode. This video which demonstrates how to turn the ESP8266 into station mode and serve up web pages to any connected client under existing network. In this video we are going to use breadboard, node MCU, 2 LED, 100 ohms resistor, and few wires. Start by placing the node MCU onto your breadboard, ensuring each side of the board is on a separate side of the breadboard. Next, connect two LED to digital GPIO D6 and D7 pins through a 100 ohm current limiting resistor. In this I'm using common cathode circuit. Connect ground of node MCU to LED cathode. Before you head for uploading the sketch, you need to make some changes to make it work for you. You need to modify the following two variables with your network credentials, so that ESP8266 can establish a connection with existing network. Type your Wi-Fi SSID name and password. Save the code. After saving and compiling the code, I forgot to select the boards. So go to tools, boards, and select node MCU Once compiling is completed, upload the code to node MCU. Again I have forgotten to select the COM port. After selecting the COM port, upload the code again. The code is been uploading to the node MCU now. You can see it below. In terms of percentage. Now uploading completed. After uploading the sketch, open the serial monitor at a baud rate of 115200. And press the reset button on ESP8266. If everything is OK, it will output the dynamic IP address obtained from your router and show HTTP server started message.
open your device Wi-Fi and connect to your network. Next, load up a browser and point it to the IP address shown on the serial monitor. The Node MCU should serve up a web page showing current status of LEDs and two buttons to control them. If take a look at the serial monitor at the same time, you can see status of Node MCU's GPIO pins. Now, click the button to turn LED 1 on while keeping an eye on the URL. Once you click the button, the ESP8266 receives a request for LED 1 on URL. It then turns the LED 1 on and serves a web page with status of LED updated. It also prints the status of GPIO pin on the serial monitor. Think so I have an issue in LED 2 turning on. Let me check out the circuit. I missed out the connections. I made it proper and it started working correctly. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for more update quickly.